I read everybody. Let me just adjust me mic. Welcome to today's special Thor Gang episode. So, hello. Welcome to the mystery boxes. Ooh. This really big one is really, really light. Look at it. It's so light. However, this one, oh, it's really heavy. The table I normally use for my unboxings is actually right above the camera. It's the uh, the table I um, I use for recording now for my computers. You've probably seen my uh, my shelves and everything and all the things that I've sort of collected in the past, and it's 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 definitely depleted somewhat because when I had everything, I was like, oh okay. Now what do I do with it? So I've been very selective with the collectibles that I get now. I wanted to get some really bespoke, like one-off kind of uh, things that you couldn't really get anywhere else and that said a lot. Now in the past I've got, you know, like the custom T-Rex that you can just see there or, you know, the uh, the Hypo Spino that Sweet Fox Wings did or, you know, the Chronicle Collectibles T-Rex, which let's be honest, the paint job wasn't really that good on it and it weighed a ton and took up a lot of space. But I came across this and I don't know where I came across this because it was a while ago now. This, this looks fishy. This, I mean, if it's not a site, it's eBay, Amazon. I don't trust it. Uh, but I had a look into this site and it seemed, as it turned out, very legit. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll keep an eye on this. And the next day, one of the set had sold. Um, so we are actually down one of the pieces. Jared Circus Bear. Yeah, those are the wood bases. So those ones are <laughs> proper solid. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take them out. I'm gonna be like, oh, wow, they look so cool. And then I'll probably cut to like close-ups and stuff. There's the invoice. Mm. That's quite expensive. We'll not look at that for long. <laughs> this came all the way from America. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, do we have a little letter here? Thank you very much for acquiring my Jurassic series figures. These were a true work of love on my end and I hope they will be fine additions to your collection. So what was interesting, uh, I, I started following him on Instagram and when I bought all of these, I think he made a video like, these just went live yesterday and all the work of the last two months has, uh, well, it's apparently paid off. I always like to know who, uh, who picks up my pieces, where they end up, the homes that they go to. And so, um, yeah, just, uh, feeling really thankful this morning. Thankful to, uh, to, uh, whoever out there pr appreciated my, uh, my work, uh, on these figures. Uh, enough to add them to their own collection. Me. But they're all like individually made, very hand uh, painted. It's it's all, uh, and I, I was kind of wondering because it, it is in America where these were made and they had to come all the way to the UK. And I was really wondering like, how are these gonna be packaged and kept safe so that when it comes to me, none of these very intricate pieces of art uh, aren't destroyed. Peanuts. So bad for the environment, will you stop making them? Damn Americans. Re wow, they've been packaged really well. Not only do we have packaging peanuts, we've also got oh. Also been putting off this just because it was like, <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna record this? How is this gonna be done? Okay, so let's get one of the small ones. No wonder you're extinct. Let's get this guy out, shall we? Oh, wow. Oh, that is so small. Oh my God, oh, you are kidding me. You guys are not even like, oh. yeah, we're gonna have to show close-ups of this. Oh, the raindrops on the roof? No way. That, that is next level. He's even got like the little antenna. Oh yeah, look how Dennis Deadry's got a little tail. <laughs> the Barbasol can, oh. Oh, that is so good. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm definitely going to be showing close-ups of this because he's even got glass in the windows. What on earth? That is nuts. Like the paint job on the Dilophosaurus, the the scheme, uh, the, the, the color scheme of the Dilophosaurus is exactly like the screen accurate one. Even the Dilophosaurus is like spinning some venom at Dennis Nedry from across the Jeep. Oh, wow. And I love the raindrops on top of this. Jesus. Now, I don't know how big I expected these to come. I think I expected them to be like pop vinyl size, like this one, because this is one of the smallest ones. I did not expect, and they probably had the measurements to be fair. <laughs> I did not expect them to be so small, but even with it being so small, that is crazy amounts of detail. Look at his face. 
Oh, that's great. No way. No way. That is so cool. That is so I'm wondering where I can put him. Is it over here? Let's let's put little Dennis Nedry over oh. here. I'm gonna lie, I'm gonna lie Dennis Nedry down. I'm gonna lie Dennis Nedry. There he is. <laughs> wow. Oh, all that was just packaged in there and then sandwiched between two more soundproofs. You know, that's the thing when you when you buy stuff from Chronicle Collectibles or First for Figures or anything like that. The Majora's Mask is right there. You can't get much better than that. But as far as like the style goes and like a mass production goes, you can't really get much better than that. But when it comes to bespoke pieces that are one-off created by like an individual who has a passion for it, um, you know, like you, you can't get better than that. And that, that Dennis Nedry, foie. <laughs> this one is one sick triceratops. I can, I can no way to record the close-ups of these. They're gonna look so good. Oh! Way better, way better than, like, even better in person, I should say. I should be facing too much. It's like Christmas! I mean, some of you may know I recently got into painting miniatures, like Warhammer, as you can see. There's like a whole shelf of, like, Necrons and Tyranids over there that I've all painted. So, I'm, I'm at the right stage where I look at this and I just think, damn. How many hours did that take? Oh man, it is craziness! Just wow. We got the JP10 for the Jeep Wrangler. I like a Jared Circus, but I like that. I like the little touch of the tire on the back. We've got uh, Lex, Tim, Alan, Ellie, uh, Professor Harding there. Look at that detail on that tree. I wonder what he uses to paint these. And the D oh, he's even how he's even got like Alan Grant's watch. I think maybe under a microscope. I wonder if he painted little uh, little uh, arms on that watch. That's great. Oh, look, Tim's holding his book there. He's even got his little um, neckerchief and his striped jacket. Ellie's holding, I don't even remember what that is. Oh, it's the gold, it's the flashlight. That's right, she holds a little flashlight. <laughs> holding with his, uh, with his tash. All the detail on Lex's jacket. Oh, wow. That is, that is something. To think that like that, the Triceratops looks great. Just that, oh, the dung that the guy's holding like, <laughs> with the glove on his hand as well. I mean, you can tell the person who made this, Jared, just really was like everything about the scene just encapsulated in a miniature. And that's, I think, what you want from a display piece, from a, from a collectible is just everything. Just the essence of that, all the, the environment, you've literally just taken a glass and just cupped it and like ground out everything and then there you go, there's your scene. It's the environment, oh, I, oh, it's just so good. Oh my God, okay, let's put that down with Dennis Nedry. So those were the, I think there was another, there was another one, there, there may be, oh, the one I didn't get had the Jurassic Gate, I'll put it in a picture. The one I didn't get had the Jurassic Park Gate with the Brachiosaurus coming out, look, Phenomenal. I was I was a bit miffed. I was like, oh, if one had to go, why that one? But I'm glad. I'm glad that somebody else is gonna have that one. But everyone else, I'm so sorry I bought all these, but then again, not sorry. Ha! <laughs> so this one, we have a shooter. Does anybody know what this scene is? Ooh. Hold on, guys, let me get the stands out. Got that. That that's a big stand. Okay, never mind. Maybe they can't go in just a box, because this is massive. Ooh, wow. Oh, I can smell the wood polish. Okay, just making sure that I don't, I'm not gonna move it. Wow, look at those. I mean, after all that, like he uses then this sellotape, which is just like paper tape, which doesn't really hold at all. Oh, the first layer, nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, th this is the size I was sort of expecting. Oh, no. Oh, it looks like some of the tree stuffs came off. That's to be expected. I can probably glue this back on. Yeah, it's just, they were just so delicate. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's just like little bits of tree. But you know, from looking at it, I would have no idea. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I love the blue of the head. That's, that's amazing. You got that taser there. Oh, he's actually, oh, he's used like a chain or something. It actually moves. That's nuts. We've got the, the helmet. You've got the, the taser. You've even, oh, you've even got like the raptor head there sticking out of the crate. You've got Joffrey, 
and Robert Muldoon, the raptor enclosure, all of its glory there. Oh, there you go. They got the um, this Motorola Saber there, the walkie-talkie. Still got his little butt tails. <laughs> oh, the level it that is that is stunning. That is really, really stunning. It looks like a sticker. It looks too good. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it there because I don't want it to fall over, especially with all those trees and stuff. I'm amazed that that Triceratops one made it without any hitch. Okay, so we've got two more. We got T-Rex doesn't want to feed. Oh, what could this one be? Ooh, second layer, not as busy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. God, wow. <laughs> this one, only two bits of leaf managed to come off this one. So this one was way more protected. I think that's because it's got this barbed wire around it. So if you hadn't guessed already, which scene this is, it is of course the scene where the T-Rex comes out and eats the ghost. Oh my God, look at the raindrops on the T-Rex. Oh wow, how'd you do that? How would you get the raindrops looking like that? It looks so sweet. And you've got the lights on the fence, the little goat there, the night vision goggles, and the bottom half being the uh, the toilet <laughs> where Gennaro is uh, about to be eaten. The raindrops on the bottom of the fence there. It's like he just sort of splattered with whatever resin or whatever it is um, to make it look like that. It looks so cool. Actually, these bits of the fence, I know I have that. It's like uh, it's just some plastic that you cut up and he's drilled into it to feed the wire around it. Wow, that just... Next, it's on another level. It really is. It's completely on another level. What's this one? When dinosaurs ruled the earth. This is the only one that isn't in its own uh, little foam. Now, when I saw this one, it was just so next level. Like, when it comes to... Uh, like detail and in intricacy. Oh, this was the one that was I was most worried about when it came to shipping it because it was there's just you'll see there's so many little bits to it. Oh my god, just that bit alone, just the top. I mean, you, you can't even really see it. I'm putting it to my face, you can't even really see it. The dangling bits of fossil. Oh my god. Oh, this is so freaking good. I know I, I may say a lot of times why, about toys and collectibles. Oh, that looks so good, but I don't think you can top this. I think this is probably the best collectible I've ever seen. Trying to be as careful with this as possible. It's like one of those big pop vinyls. Better because pop vinyls are ugly. <laughs> Will James get this out before his kneecap blows out the right side of his leg? <laughs> Find out next time. Wow. Just wow. It's like a little baby. <laughs> oh wow. Why am I getting emotional over this? Actually, this is this is weird. Why am I actually getting emotional looking at this? No, I won't be the meme. I'm not gonna be the Star Wars guy who cries or whatever. <laughs> It's a jelly on the spoon when dinosaurs ruled the earth, the T-Rex roaring. He's even painted the mural behind with the Paris and the Raptor. It is gorgeous. And then we've still got to put on the top bit. Who, who do we have? We have Ellie Sattler on the, um, the, uh, the tail. We've got Tim and Alan Grant on the, uh, the main body. And it, you can, you can see it's almost the moment when Alan's like, Tim, you gotta let go. You gotta get low, let go, Tim. And the raptor there, jumping on his foot. He's even got like pupils and everything. What the heck is going on with this level of detail? How? Look, even the jelly, it's got like f like little air bubbles inside it and everything. He's got like, I love, I love this, this aesthetic of the, um, the thatched roof. It's even on the ears, it's on the shoulder. He's got the engine on the back there. The waterfall next to John Hammond. Oh, it's so reminiscent of that, the old Jurassic Park ride where it showed the video. It was like, and have a wonderful time at Jurassic Park. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. That, that, that's what that is to me. How did you manage to achieve this? I'll show you. The Jeep with the, den the Dennis Nedry scene with the Lophosaurus so iconic. The, the first time we actually see a dinosaur in Jurassic Park being the Triceratops. 
and the, the, the opening scene with the raptor killing the gatekeeper, the, of course the iconic T-Rex scene, eating the goat, and just the visitor center. The building alone, the visitor center is, is just so, I said it a million times, iconic. It just really is, you see that, you see its silhouette, you know exactly what, the color scheme, everything about it. Like even just the hands, they all have hands, but they're all doing things, holding a barbasol can, uh, wearing a glove, holding the dung. Uh, from the Triceratops, holding a taser, holding the jello, everything about it. You can tell he's he's just put so much thought into it when it's came to these miniatures. It's 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 amazing. I don't know what to say. Oh, it's, and you know, the once I've unboxed all this, I'll be like, yeah, and then this is how I'm going to end it. But I think they just, they speak volumes. They really do. So this is where Editing James takes over because apparently I had no idea how to end the video. If you haven't already, check his Instagram out and check his website because the, the amount of stuff that he does and the quality and the range that this guy can do, even sculpting everything, it's just amazing to see. And I'm sure if you check it out, you'll find something you like. At this moment in time, he has no idea that I'm the one that's bought all of them. So it goes without saying, I haven't been told to say any of this. I saw a range of amazingly executed Jurassic Park models and seeing them in person, those pictures, and probably this video hasn't even done them justice. And I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, Jared for making these amazing pieces that I'm able to share with everybody else. Thank you. I might have to rearrange some of my Jurassic Park display, but I want them on the top shelf because just running through them all, it just tells that story of Jurassic Park from iconic scene to iconic scene. And as a collector, I think they just embody everything that I was looking for. These aren't the only Jurassic Park things he's created either. I think he's made a couple of other ones. There was this Dilophosaur with the Jurassic Park gate thing that looks so cool. So hey, you never know. You might be able to snatch another one. But you've got to beat me. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, my legs! Oh, <laughs> oh my knees! <laughs>